This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is sponsored by Crawford & Company. Register now for their annual CatCon conference February 19th through the 23rd in Allen, Texas at crawco.com slash cat. And by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at adjustertvplus.com. Some of these people have never been, ever had a claim before in their life, you know, and they have no yeah, idea what's going on. Yeah. And then you've got people in Louisiana, they've been through 400 adjusters, you know? And so, yes. you know, let him kind of know that. But in this book is called The Whole Brain Child. It really relates back to, you know, our lives too, but it says, you know, first you connect and then you redirect, you know, yeah. You, yeah. you, you, you really connect with the emotion that they're in right now. If they're being so irrational as a kid, you know, they're being so irrational about this dream or this, whatever. And you just, and as much as you want to just, ah, you know, you, you hug them first and then you redirect them and let them kind of work that logical reasoning brain that they kind of aren't connecting with then. And so that's yeah. probably somebody that's just gone is having some trauma from a disaster. You know, you've got to kind of go back to the basics and really connect with them first and give them that. And it makes a lot of sense. It's not just something your boss is telling you to do, or, you know, you guys, are telling us, it's like just a human thing, you know? Yeah. So yeah, but sure. it makes, it made so much sense when you said that. And then hopefully that kind of can help some relate to that better. And just in our everyday life, kind of treating people that way, you know? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. And I kind of look at it like, so my wife trains horses and <laughs> one of the sort of like training things we've, we're dealing with horse personalities is that they'll have growing up. Oh, I nice. Very cool. Paint horse association. Yeah. That's so okay. So you, so you probably know this, like, so they have like a cup, like, right. So there's like, it can fill up with things. Right. And if it gets to the top, the, the if horse locks up or it throws you or it bites you, or it has a little spaz attack and doesn't want to do what you want it to do. Right. So the, the cup can be full of all kinds of random things like, you know, paper, plastic bags you didn't see floating by the door of the arena that pop something up, they smell something. Um, maybe, maybe you're having a bad day and you, you know, your, your energy is kind of, you know, it fills that horse's cup up with more anxiety. I think it was, it goes, the same thing goes for people, right? So those daily things that you don't have any idea, you know, the guy, you go knock on the front door and super rude, right? Like, just like what, you know, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, come to find out guy, he slams the door, right? And he goes back and flops back down on the couch and is in agony because he threw his back out. Right. So he's like, he hobbled over to the door was with his back all tweaked. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is fine. Yeah. Just do whatever you gotta do. And I said, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Slam the door in a lot of pain. Right. That's, that's something I have no control over. Right. It's, it's something that he's got to deal with on top of, oh, the adjuster's going to be here. Crap. You know, uh, I just, I just, I, all I want to do is like close all the blinds and, you know, just take some, you know, Advil or whatever, and just try to go to sleep. Right. But now I got to deal with adjust, the adjuster. They don't, I don't know what's going to happen with them. I don't know how long he's going to be here. You he didn't tell me how long he was going to be here or what's going to happen next, you know, and that's, that cranks up that guy. He, he's like overflowing. And so he's, his social skills are like gone. Right. Um, so yeah, well, I, I think we, you know, the, the, the customer service piece, the helping piece, I mean, that's, that's significant. And, and it's, it's kind of a, I would say as much as like learning Xactimate and learning um, construction and damage ID and policy and, and like the overall claims workflow, how to document files and all that kind of thing. The customer service piece is is got to be there, right? I think it's the, it's everything else serves customer service. You write a good estimate, right? That serves customer service because the contractor looks at it and says, "Oh, it looks good," and the homeowner's like, "Okay, so it looks like all I have to do is pay my deductible, right?" It's not like, "Oh, well, he forgot A, B, C, and D and E. We got to send it back for a supplement." That's makes the customer service that fills that cup with higher stress. Um, you know, damage ID, getting out there and saying, this is damage and this is not damage. 
repair construction processes, right? We're going to, um, this thing that was damaged over here, we're going to have to also mess with this thing that wasn't damaged because you can't fix that without fix, you know, you can't do it without fixing, you know, replacing that or whatever. It goes back to the accuracy of your estimate, the conversations that you have with the, the customer and the contractor, so on and so forth, right? And interpreting the policy and in telling them the right thing up front instead of, and then instead of having the later, hey, hey, this is, you know, uh, Carrie with uh, your insurance company. And I was out there the other day and, and I said this, but actually I was looking through your policy and that's not correct. Um, there's actually a limit on that. We can't pay for, you know. Um, which may, it's going to happen. That kind of thing happens. But if the more you know the policy, the less it happens. But the more you build rapport with with the the customer, you you know you you uh, get their attention, and then you kind of redirect that that strength, trust, and anxiety away from you, and they feel like you're a safe place and they trust you. Then oh, okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, oh, you know, not too happy about that, but I understand the policy is what it is, right? Um, so. Lots of pieces that I think all kind of go together to um, make this more than just a, you know, we're writing estimates, um, we're traveling around the country or whatever. It's, we're helping people. Adjuster TV, slaying the POW.